Hey there, uh, this is the final, I guess, completed video of the monkey head uh, walking stick. So if, uh, if you didn't know already, this project was inspired by an episode on the repair shop where they had a monkey headed cane and uh, it was animated and I was so infatuated with it, I just said, I'm gonna make one of these. So here's the animation part. There's a little lever in the back and when you operate it, his mouth opens and his ears flap. That, getting that to work and getting enough range of motion in both was an absolute nightmare. Very, very difficult and uh, very discouraging at times, but I managed to pull it off just barely. Uh, he's painted with folk art paints. Uh, gives him kind of a slightly quirky folk art kind of look, which I'm, I'm quite satisfied with. I didn't want a completely realistic carving, and I don't have the talent to do a completely realistic one anyway. We'll just do a bit of a walk around. And in the back here, difficult to see in the light because he's silhouetted, but there's the uh, little pull-down lever. The original actually had a push button, but I was worried about friction uh, it was all wood and the pull-down lever just solved a lot of problems, so mine does not quite match the original in that respect. Uh, there was a little access hatch in the back that's been sealed over here. Perhaps you can see better in the light. Not really, but take my word for it. It's pretty invisible, but if you look you can tell. And let's go back around. Um, yeah, he's all sealed in, but I'd used fish glue to glue the back on, so it can be reversed if need be. If I ever have to get in there uh, using steam and water, I can undo the glue and get in to perhaps effect some repairs. Um, he's mounted on a shaft that, um, well, the, the rule I read was eight inches taller than your elbow if it's a walking stick. I didn't want to make him as a cane because a hand uh, on the ears... Um, you know, they're, they're not too super solid, so over time I'm sure they'd get damaged that way. So he's a little taller and he's a walking stick where the original was a cane. Uh, here's my hand, just to give you an idea of size. Some people had thought he's way bigger, but he's actually fairly small. There we go. And uh, to mount him to the walking shaft, uh, I used, uh, from Lee Valley Tools, a brass coupler. So he can actually be uh, removed and placed on a shorter or longer stick or uh, potentially a cane and then the shaft also could have a different head affixed to it if I carve more cane toppers or walking stiff toppers which I definitely plan to do and uh, yeah I started mid-March so about a two-month project and I'd say averaging uh, probably average hour and a half a day so there's quite a few hours into this little guy uh, it was an adventure. I don't know if I'd do something animated again, certainly not immediately, because that's sure a complicated factor. Uh, yeah, the other thing, I guess, the eyes are glass eyes that I bought prefab from Lee Valley Tools, 5mm eyes, and epoxied them in and puttied around. First my time doing that, so there was a lot of firsts on this project, but uh, I'm very pleased. He still makes me giggle. Every time I look at him and activate him, I can't help but smile. And so I would consider, for my taste, the project is a success. I don't know if I'd do long-term hiking with them, because I'm worried the impact, especially on concrete, of the walking stick might do something to the mechanism over time. So perhaps he's more like a dress walking stick. If I went to a gallery opening or something, I might bring him along, just to show off a little bit. And uh, yeah, it was a blast. Monkey head walking stick as inspired by the repair shop.